Okay, Gemini gang. All Gemini placements take what resonates a leave of a rest. Or take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box on the website. Several classes are in the description box as well, okay? Let's see what's happening. Gemini. Again, hit that like. Um, hit that subscribe. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to manually pick. Whoa, I guess not. <laughs> okay, one of them flew across the room face up so let me grab that guys oh i love it okay so we have that one and then uh we have opening heart we're seeing sensuality again we saw this one yesterday um and then opening heart as well which is deep connections water blessings interesting now i don't this one says deep connections. This one says deep emotions. So this makes sense. So this one is a 15, which reduces down to a six. Um, so this one is unknown feelings, past life influences. Interesting. So this will be the equivalency of like the lovers or like the six of cups. And then this one is a three. Um, Cause it's a 20, well it's 21, which reduces down to a three. And this one says guide. And on the bottom it says the illuminated path. Wow. Okay, so let's see what these affirmations are for these cards. I'm interested. Okay, so deep emotions. The affirmation for this is I release longing and fear. See, and I said this in the last reading. I release longing and free in fear. I peacefully direct the current of my life in every present moment. I love this, uh, Gemini's. Okay, um, let's see if I want to read any of this. Um, no, I won't read this one because this one's super long. But let's check out twenty one which is uh here all right so this one says i direct my own destiny in every way i open myself to the loving guidance i receive from others from the universe and from within i love this this is one of my faves as well um so i'm going to read a paragraph from this one this card could indicate the coming of a new teacher into your life. <gasps> Y'all, I love when Spirit does this. Y'all go 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 watch the other reading, okay? <laughs> it may be someone who advises you in in specific personal areas such as education, nutrition, or finances, or it could be someone who pursues a more spiritual path. Let yourself be open to the guidance and inspiration such new teachers can bring together with the wisdom of your own inner voice you will find a path before you um, become illuminated and you will be ready to take your next steps with the clarity and purpose your eternal life deserves so with this i feel like and also another teacher for you is your connections gemini's so i said something in the other reading about uh, a lesson being learned uh, from a uh, possible lover, soulmate, something along the lines of that, uh, Gemini's. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Mm hmm. The strength card, heavy Leo. We already starting off with the Leo energy. The sun's on the bottom. Okay, so yes, Gemini's. The strength card is about taming. Um, taming that uh, 
animal side of you, uh, Gemini's. Keeping control over yourself. The magician, yeah, love it. But with the deep emotions card as well, um, you or someone, like I picked up in the other reading, is needing to detach from the outcome, which I've been getting for you guys in the readings. There's something you're needing to detach from. Like you, you need to get to a place where you are happy if it if it goes the way that you want. You are also happy if it doesn't. King of Cups on the bottom. Scorpio energy. Being emotionally balanced. Uh, Gemini's. Oh, and the temperance comes out. Love it. So Major Arcana is crazy so far. Whoa! The world. Now, didn't I say the, the deep uh, emotions is the equivalency of the lovers and the six of cups? The six of cups in the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, Gemini's. <laughs> I'm seeing like a huge change for you, Gemini's. I feel like a lot of you guys have completed a cycle. And again, this could be someone in your energy. It could be both of you, okay? As you can see, the top of this magician's head... There's an infinity sign, and usually the infinity symbol is can be about, oh, wow. And it's right under this. So if you look on this card, you guys, you see it says past life influences under deep emotions. And the infinity sign is definitely, oh, the infinity sign is on both of these cards, you guys. Are you fucking serious? The infinity symbol is is a, a sign of something coming back from another life. Um, could be a you know twin flame, soulmate, whatever. But any any connection can come back from another life. You guys, your children, your parents, um, anything like that. Okay, um, yeah, definitely past life influences here, uh, Gemini's. And like I said, there are lessons here that you needed to learn from someone. Um, mutually i feel like it's not just that person so you may be dealing with a sagittarius it could also be someone is like your opposite sign gemini's um yeah or your opposite moon so say your moon sign is in um how can i put it you may be dating someone that's opposite your moon that's what i was trying to say um but it could also be opposite your son. Sagittarius is opposite Gemini on the, on the um, wheel, on the uh, astrology wheel. But it could also be your moon sign. So say you have a Leo moon, Gemini's, um, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Because the world is Saturn, which is Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, so take that how it resonates, Gemini's. You, you may be dealing with someone that's the opposite of your moon sign. Okay. Where are my other cards? Oh, here they go. Yeah. Heavy balance coming in for you. For a lot of you, this is a soulmate uh, twin flame. But I'm seeing you've completed a cycle, uh, Gemini's. You've learned a lesson here and you're now you're ready to go to the next step. Um, now you're ready to go to the next level, regardless of what that may be. Every card here is a major arcana. And when you see major arcanas like this, Gemini's, um, a lot of it is out of your hands, uh, Gemini's. Uh, this is, this is something that spirit is doing. Spirit is working on. This is a heavy, heavy spiritual spread right here, uh, Gemini's. It's like someone legit was brought here to teach you something and vice versa, Gemini's. You were brought here to teach somebody something. And their fate last, their fate is pretty much determined. And didn't I pick this up in yesterday's read? <laughs> their fate is pretty much determined and if they follow through with it.
I don't know what's going on with this today. Okay, every time I say something, the Knight of Wands, yep, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Chariots on the bottom. Yeah, heavy Sag, you guys. Um, yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a, your opposite sign. Yeah, Gemini's, you are manifesting something, or you've manifested it already, or someone is manifesting you. Someone's having a hard time, um, very similar to the other reading. Someone's having a really hard time uh, keeping their feelings in. Yep. That's about to change, though, um, Gemini's. Someone's having problems uh, hiding their feelings. Or not doing what they want to do. So it, it's almost as if this person is, or you, take it how it resonates, is wanting more. Wanting a, a, a deeper connection. Expressing deeper emotions. But they've been holding themselves back, uh, Gemini's. But they're not able to do it much longer. The chariot's on the bottom. Yeah, someone's going to have to get out of their comfort zone. Um and open up and express someone feels very very deeply for you uh gemini's and again they don't express it for some of you you are separated from this person or you walked away from this person or they walked away from you um and they're being guided back towards you yep or you're being guided towards them because if you look at this eight of cups card in the direction she's walking, she's walking up here towards this temperance. And I've said in other readings how the temperance card is is to to me the two of cups 2.0 because you see he has these two these two cups pouring into each other. So two people pouring into the, each other. This person has tried to I feel like run from this connection, avoid this connection, um, avoid totally giving to you, Gemini's avoid totally opening up and they can't anymore their prosperity lies with you Gemini's and I feel like they're starting to see that child I can't make this shit up the nine of swords <laughs> the seven of pentacles the hierophant and the star Yep. They've been trying to run. They can't. And because of it, they've paid for it, uh, Gemini's. They, this person has paid for it with their mental sanity. There's always a price to pay when you don't um when you don't follow your soul your soul uh contract. When you don't follow the illuminated path. That you chose before you came to this life, uh, Gemini's. There's always consequences to that. This person is reaping the consequence to it. Um, and again, this could be you, Gemini's. Okay, um, but it's it's going to be the person that um, runs. Yeah. But I feel like Gemini's. They're being gu guided back to you because, like I said. Your prosperity lies with, uh, their prosperity lies with you. And I feel like they can't, they can't hold it in anymore. They can't hide their feelings anymore, uh, Gemini's. And I feel like they've been, um, this person may have had like some type of trauma too. Uh, a lot of people don't realize too that sometimes traumas can be passed down through the DNA. Like you could have traumas from your mother like not even from stuff that you've gone through personally um but just from things that she's gone through uh you're born with and you have to sort out but you agreed to that uh gemini's before you came a lot of you are here to uh heal generational curses and that's and that goes beyond um this is gonna be a long reading that goes beyond just money but literally, some of you that are watching this are here are here to literally heal your DNA. Gemini's.
And it'll be a whole new um, child. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. Yep. The Two of Swords. The Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. Six of Swords. Yeah. I feel like this person wants peace. The Two of Swords can also be a, a truce of some sort. Let's just work this out. How can we fix this? What can we do to move forward, uh, Gemini's? And when I tell you, with this, with the two knights here, with the strength card, this person can't hide how they feel anymore, Gemini's. They can't. Go check out that song I linked in the other video, you guys. This person can't hide their feelings anymore. They can't. They can't keep running, uh, Gemini's. And I feel like that's what's been going on because they keep being guided back to you. It's like you balance this person out. You bring balance to this person, uh, Gemini's. But that's that's why you're here. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Listen. <laughs> oh my goodness, child. Look at him. The Seven of Cups on the bottom. Let me look. Look. Let me say this, Gemini's. <sighs> Things are turning around for you. I will say this, whoever is doing what spirit is guiding them to do is going to reap the reward for it. Whoever is not is going to have the opposite effect, Gemini's. And I feel like a lot of you, um, you're being rewarded from spirit because you are doing what you were supposed to do or you did do what you were supposed to do. You did your best. But the person didn't, you know, wasn't ready or whatever the case may be. So for that, you'll be rewarded. And I'm seeing with you completing this cycle, Gemini's, and you may have gone through hell and back with this person, which I've, get, I've gotten other reading as well. You may have stressed out, been anxiety, cried, and everything else over this person. But now you're coming out as this magical ass being, Gemini's. The phoenix rising. Your confidence level is going up. You're going to be super attractive to people. Your options are going to be unlimited, Gemini's. And then that's when this person is going to be like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Gemini, we were supposed to work this out. For some of you, this person may even say to you, like, you know, we're soulmates or... We soul tied and some other shit like that, uh, Gemini's. Once you decide to move forward, yeah. But this person's not being is is not. They can't hold it in anymore, Gemini's. That that's what I'm seeing. They can't they can't hold their feelings in anymore. They're being guided not to now. Whether they listen to it. Is on them, but I feel like you are this. You are the the path to this person's uh, prosperity, Gemini's. Okay, I only need a few of these because I don't want to get the reading to be too long. Let's do. Let's do um, four. Four is good. There's that. Oh, y'all. Go look, go look at the other reading. Oh, and we have... <laughs> There's that 1111 card on the bottom. We are coming into union. What the fuck did I tell you, Gemini's? Some of y'all are here to break generational curses. Okay. Now we have, this one is 10. It says the planets are activating us to heal and bringing us closer together. Surrender to the changes. Yep. The two of swords can be about a surrender too. This person's going to have to. Gemini, they have to. Like you are the road to this person's prosperity. Mm-hmm. There's that music one again. 
There are messages being exchanged through music and movies. Listen carefully and trust what you hear. Go look at the other reading, uh, Gemini's. I linked two songs for you guys to listen to. Go look at those other readings. Whoa! Y'all, look at this shit! As twin flames, we are here to ascend and help others do the same. Didn't I just say that shit? 2020 as I looked over. Didn't I just fucking say that, Gemini's? Child. Last but not least, I always felt I had a higher calling in life, and our connection brings me more clarity on it. I told you, Gemini's, you are the per the road to prosperity for this person. Period. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.